Welcome to CATS Tutorials, and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 6.5. Now given such a circuit, we are asked to find the energy stored in each of the capacitors. So this is given to us under DC conditions. And under DC conditions, capacitors become open circuits. So this will be the resulting circuit. And what we're interested in doing is actually finding the voltage across these two points. Let's call this uh, V1, let's call this V2. Because the formula for energy of a capacitor is a half C V squared, right? And so let's proceed to find these two voltages. So there are quite a few ways which we can use to find the voltages. Um, one of which is to go around the loops and some of it also is to just uh, do basic voltage division. So let's do voltage division to find the voltages. So this V2, as you can see, shares two nodes with a three kilo ohm resistor, which means it's actually in parallel to that, which means the voltage across the three K uh, resistor is the same as V2. And this V1 shares two nodes with everything else to the right of the circuit. So the sum of the voltages of the 3K and the 6K. So let's proceed to find, let's start with V2 because it's quite easier. We're only interested in finding the voltage which is across one resistor. And that is done this way because effectively everything is now in series and these are just terminals or points which we're actually interested in finding the voltage of. So everything is in series and we can apply voltage division as follows. V2 is equals to 10, which is the voltage source value multiplied by 3K divided by 1K plus 3k plus 6k, right? And the answer to this, if you punch this into a calculator, you can actually, let's see if you can simplify this without using calculator. So this will be 10 multiplied by 3k divided by, this is 4, 6, 10k at the bottom. And we can take this as 10k, so that cancels out, which means V2 is equal to 3 volts, right? So V2, we found V2 to be 3 volts. And now let's proceed to find uh, V1. So as I said, V1 is equal to the sum of the voltage, which is across that resistor and that resistor. So since we found V2, which is the voltage across that resistor, we can just find the voltage across this resistor and add the two up, right? So doing that, let's first find the voltage across the 6K. So voltage across the 6K is equals to 10 multiplied by 6K divided by 1K plus 3K plus 6K. And simplifying this as well, we have 10 multiplied by 6K divided by 10K. And the 10Ks cancel out, which means we have 6 as the voltage across the 6K ohm uh, resistor value. And which means V1 is equal to this plus that, which is 3 plus 6. And therefore V1 is equal to 9 volts. So now I have the voltage values for both of these capacitors or for both of these positions and we can proceed to find the what the question is actually asking for so the question is asking for the energy associated with each capacitor so the energy associated with the 30 micro uh, farad capacitor which is over there which is associated to v2 and we said v2 is equal to 3 volts is going to be half using the formula half cv squared it's going to be a half C, which is 30 in this case, times 10 to the minus 3, 
Uh, this is the C part, and the V is 3 volts, which you calculate it. So 3 squared. And for the 20, we do the same thing. Half 20 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by the voltage value of V1, which is 9, right? So 9 squared. Punching both of this in, into a calculator should give you the following values. So for the 20, you should get 810 microjoules. And for the 30, you should get 135 microjoules. And that is how you solve this problem.